seeing seeing poor flogged out breeder country with not much grass at all going to high quality finishing country just by renovating it and putting it back to pasture and controlled grazing and management of that paddock. So yeah, changing the soil, changing land condition from C or D to A basically. So yeah, it's good to watch. Roundview is a property uh, not far out of Bell on the northern side of Bell and it was a paddock that was old cultivation, old dairy, um, had for a very long time not had fertiliser applied, low in organic matter, lots of weeds, lots of box thorn um, growing over the paddock as well. So in that scenario what we did was um, really come up with a sequential plan of, to, of moving away from pooch and box thorn right through to um, sowing a new pasture to replace the pooch because we felt we couldn't simply just over sow in that situation. At Roundview, um, John was interested to um, uh, get a legume into the system and what he chose in the end was to put Lucina in. Now, prior to planting Lucina, he wanted to build up the fertility of the soil, or any pasture for that matter, and he decided to um, use forage crops initially. He was just going to use Dolichus Lab Lab and um, use that as pretty much a green manure crop, get some grazing but then plough it back in. So he did that, but then it was so dry that um, he couldn't put the pasture in subsequently. So then he used an oats crop and uh, then we went to um, put the legume in but couldn't get it in until end of last year, so December in 2014. And he's chosen Lucina to plant. And it's established in the rows where it is extremely well. So he's now got plants that are probably half a metre tall and uh, very productive. Yeah, before starting the project, yeah, we hadn't really implemented anything much to do with pasture or management of it. It was just always there and move the cows around to suit. But yeah, now we sort of take a proactive sort of stance with our grass on how we manage it and what we do with it. So then also with this project, um, planting the lacina is probably going to be a big game changer for us as far as the pastures go and just yeah, having that volume of feed. So. At Roundview, despite the soil qualities there being uh, less than optimum, as in quite sandy in relation to some of the other sites, you know, having less clay. So the level of fertility, innate fertility, was, was less. But still, over the period of time, we've had very pleasing and yet yeah, significant improvements in certain areas of soil health, such as uh, the organic matter and organic carbon and active carbon, or you know, biological carbon for organisms throughout the profile. It, and our profile was you know, uh, from zero to 10 down to 30 centimetres. So we've consistently, across quite a few parameters, increased the health of the soil at each level, not just in the top 10 centimetres. And so what John's done is moved from a very unproductive cooch box, uh, box thorn paddock um, through to now uh, a very, what will potentially be a very, very highly productive paddock with lacina and grass and a long-term perennial system that he should need very little maintenance and inputs in the long term. Just being able to talk to the experts when you when you get a question you're not quite sure about or something you want to research more into you can talk to them and yeah having access to those experts is great yeah being able to sit down and have a coffee and a yarn with them and just talk grass yeah it's good especially for me I'm yeah I'm a young and starting out in the industry so yeah it's, I found it really good to have that access to be able to talk to them yeah when I needed it so yeah it was great.